Hello, welcome to March 16th. Alphas have another point on the scoreboard with Capri exiting at 61%. There it is, exit, there is a Capri exited at 760. We got in at 470, uh, producing $990 in profit on one contract, 290, two minus on fees, two, 288 on the win, and 4819 was the owed. With a new O now of 4331. Well done, Capri. All right. And it was last bar low. It was right here at last bar low. It was right there on that take. So with that said, we are now moving on to our new leader for the office, and that is Walgreen. And Walgreen is right there. And interesting action today on Walgreen. Uh, we were we were we were in the 80s and oh hitting 80 plus on the ROI and it have fell back toward the close and we ended up at 59 percent but 59 percent is still in the right area and it's still in a uptrend you see lower the lows are going higher that's one way of knowing of an uptrend and we're looking for that to get across that 60 close above that 60 dollars which is only about four dollars away four dollars away <laughs> On the ATR, that says uh, that's a, about a dollar fifty two and a half days. So we're about three days out from hitting our target on the three to one right here, and then we'll be looking to establishing a other exit for Walgreens. Okay. With that said, uh, the second leader is CBS, which happens to be Walgreens' competitor. So uh, the two are running neck and neck. We'll see how they're doing. Uh, this is kind of nice. Uh, it's a nice, nice climbing up. Now I think we have a correction here on our EMA, and yes, we do. We have an old EMA, EMA here, so um, we'll go ahead and change that out. Go ahead and land and put in our new one, exponential, moving average right there. Double click, come over into the uh, adjustment panel, come to the little gear, come up to the 30, change it to 10. And we're good to go. Apply and OK. So now there's our there's our trend. So you can see that the 10 EMA is trending up. And that's what we would like. And uh, how much running room we have up here. Who knows? We are 87 in the stochastics. Right there is 87. You can see we are in the blue bubble on the edge. And But RSI is at 64, which is a real nice sweet spot. That is really cool. OK. So uh, CBS at 34%. Uh, now ITB at 33. So let's go to ITB 33, and uh, a little bit of a little bit of flat action going through here could be accumulation from the institutions. Uh, we are into our summer months, spring and summer, which is good building season for home builders. They're good to about maybe depending on certain parts of the country. But they're they're good to about almost early November, and by early November it gets, it gets it gets pretty daunting out there for construction. But that doesn't stop them; it keeps on going, and that's the important part. So uh, at thirty three percent for ITB, KR yes, KR. I haven't heard much in the news about KR. Uh, again, I am not a news follower. I followed the news after the fact, like. A couple of weeks ago, I had a real good day in the market, and I get to class, and one of the people say, "Whoa, man, the market fell yesterday." And I said, "What do you mean?" He says, "Didn't you hear it fell down a couple of a few hundred points?" And I said, uh, "No, my accounts are all up yesterday, and I had a couple of exits." Oh, there we go. I'm not a news follower. I read the news. Don't get me wrong there, but I don't follow it for trading. I follow it just to fill in the backstory. So KR, uh, nice move up again. Nice trend line. I mean, a nice movement on the on the on the 10 EMA. Our target is 37.70 for our third ratio, and we're at 36.20. And uh, what's our ATR? ATR is almost a dollar, and we're about a dollar fifty out. So we're about two days. We're about two days out if if it continues in the same action. Right now, it looks like it's doing a little bit of plateauing here. So it might stay here and stall for a couple of days and then make a push up. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, that takes us to a RTX. RTX is here. And for those who are joining me new on the channel, uh, note that this is the stochastics uh, uh, strategy. 
Again, the review, the Cassics is this panel here. And our entry is we have a now my scanner picked up a little bit of an uptick right in this zone, right in here. It was confirmed by RSI right in here. And then we had a green histogram on the MACD. And that is the basics of the strategy. And then we go into the criteria of the option. And that's how the option gets selected into being a trade. So RTX, maybe flatlining today, maybe it was a maybe it was a pullback today. Uh, I did get that stop out on Capri, and I did have a stop out on the on the private reserve account, which brought in a, a nice, pretty penny. Okay, so that now takes us to T. And also note too, in this strategy, we establish a we establish a area of support. How do we know that this area is support? The price stopped. When the price stops here, that's called support. So we came down, bounced up, started to move up. We got into the trade using T as an example, and that and that becomes our stop zone, and that becomes our one three to one risk ratio. We're going to risk one dollar to make three. Now T looks like it's flatlining along here, and uh, okay, so you know we 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 got in a nice price though. We anticipated five ninety three. That's what option E stands for, option estimated cost. And we actually got filled with an actual option cost at 450. So that was uh that was pretty sweet in that regard. Okay, coming on down the line now to T minus. Oh no, T minus is a minus two. Well, I am gonna bring up T minus under this regard. T minus. Oh, I mean T minus T minus, not T. T minus, here we go. Uh I'm gonna bring this up in regard to for, for to, to point out something. We got a bad fill. We anticipated 596. We got filled to 740. That's dollar fifty-five. Yeah, it's a dollar fifty-five. We got filled at the uh, at uh, we got overfilled. So the um uh dollar forty see forty dollar forty five. So the problem the thing is that because of this bad fill, T minus is gonna struggle to try to get into positive territory. Even though it's already crossed the first ratio, it's still a negative here at a minus two and with an up candle. So it's got to get past that second ratio to get in the profit zone and get past the third ratio, of course, to start looking for a lower low, dipper low exit. And where's the dipper low come from? The dipper low is by the dip, which is what you hear about a lot. If you do a lot of YouTube and surfing about what strategies are out there, especially for day traders, buying the dip we used buy we used the dip as a exit point why because price comes down and stops and then goes back up again comes down stops so right in here you can say you know right in here there are some buyers that's what this is about this price came and stopped price came down stopped price came down and stopped somebody in out there in this institutions like this price right in here so we'll use the black price channel here to determine the well, we use the bottom of this candle, the, the low is right there in the little small panel on the data panel. And the low is uh 123.85, the low is 123.88, the low is 124.08. So you can say right in here around this 123.80, 13, 123.85, there is some buyers. And now it'll be a matter of if it comes down and breaks through and the buyers give up. And the sellers come in, but if not, if it continues on, we have a nice trend here. Uh, we were able to go work. Now, my focus of reason for T minus is because of that bad fill, I would be just happy to get out of this trade with just a little bit of profit just to close it because of the bad fill and then wait for an opportunity to get back into T minus. It goes as 24.20 on T minus here. Okay, our new arrival, IAU, uh, which is a mining stock. Did not do very well. Let's go ahead and look at that because this is a uh, that does not owe me any money. And when by not owing me any money, I'm looking for a two percent win. That's all I'm looking for. Remember that if we can compound two percent on the wins, we can do that. Oh, I'm good. Look at this. I'm out of time again. I'm gonna have to sorry say my bag out and uh, catch you later. With Alpha's getting one point on the scoreboard, Capri at like sixty-one percent on the exit, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.